What's cracking everybody, Zerfeld Rose here, bringing you some Pokemon Go Battle League content. Today's video, we got a feature of Shadow Dawn Fan in the Great League. I believe this team was run by Purple Kyogre, but this trainer went on an absolute tear with the team and sent in these battles, and I figured it was a good opportunity to not only shout out very goaded content creator Purple Kyogre, but also show some battles of the community because I have, if you haven't noticed, I've been in, uh, I've been away for a few days dealing with the Hurricane Helene, and I am now back. We are able to get these games going. Let's get into the video here. As we pull into the Great League featuring Shadow Dom fan on the lead, you get a thing that beats this entire team as if that doesn't happen to me on a daily basis. But the opponent's staying in here. They can go for a Surf. I believe it's still four to the first Surf. I think it's four, four, three, I believe now, instead of four, three, four. Uh, but Surf is going to get the shield here, and then the opponent safe swaps into a Licky Licky. And we're going to see the Trailblaze fired off. I wonder if Tom is looking to stay in this matchup here. The entire team does not have a solid uh, time against an opposing Jellison. I will be honest. But Jellison, also one of those things that you really don't expect to see a lot of. However, I have seen a very large number of Toxapex kind of come out of nowhere. So... Maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's a really good anti-meta pick right now, that Jellison. Tom's gonna sop, swap, swap, sop, swap, soppy swap, sloppy swappy sop into the dugong here and start to get some energy, maybe throw an icy wind to curb the damage coming in. But at this point, maybe, I think we just farm down here. And then we use this energy to hopefully deal with whatever's in the back. Perhaps maybe the answer is to get rid of the Jellison in this way. This, it's, there's always an out. There's always a way out. You know, not, not necessarily always, but you know what I mean. Like, just because you get hit with a really, really awkward thing that, you know, kind of seems like it should beat the whole team, it doesn't always mean that it's game over right away. Sometimes may, the opponent may not have the strongest answers to your team in the back. In this case, they have a meta champ, and I can easily see the Toxapex coming in here to have some fun with this thing. I'm trying to, I had to take my, you guys saw the video from, uh, from the other day and i was i was doing videos with my uh, with my family and um yeah so <laughs> all of my mic settings are messed up but we take the first game here opponent not wanting to play this out good game not me getting completely distracted look at that a toxapex in the lead exactly what you want to see and the opponent stays in for a moment realizing that this thing has mud slap and their best response or at least their safe swap in this case is a dun sparse now dun sparse has rollout and is not going to really enjoy having uh, the Don fans ground typing thrown in its face. Now, Drill Run is um, gonna do pretty much neutral damage here, but Don fans very squishy, so any damage on this Don fan is probably gonna help the opponent. But the opponent's looking to shield, and I think Don fan is gonna be content to shield up and just go through this because you need this to deal with the opponent's Toxmix. Tell me they're triple weak to Don fan. I want to see this thing solo a whole team, please, please, please. Trainer, what's in the back? It's a go lurk. Oh, please, please. Okay, we got the bait. All right, hold on a minute. Now, if we get this trailblaze off, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be screaming right now, dude. Not really. I'm not gonna scream. But anyway, uh, no opponent. Has, oh, but look at how much damage those mud slaps did, man. There's nothing left for this, for this, for this Toxapex the opponent has in the back. Dugong is just gonna be able to go for a drill run or an icy wind or something. I would go for the drill run here for sure. Um, and we go for the icy. Trainer, no. Go for the damage, there's no shields! There's never a reason why we Icy Wind here. But even though we can Okay, well, luckily it worked out for them in this case. We get the uh, the cap tie, charge attack priority tie, and an instant switch into the Toxapex. This is pretty much game over as the opponent's Golurk has almost no HP remaining. We just go for a Sludge uh, sludge Wave or two here. And uh, we watch these two little tanky things. Go for the Sludge Wave! <laughs> why does this mirror have to be any longer than it needs to be? Go for the Sludge Wave there. Maybe he was looking to try and uh, get the opponent on a catch, but definitely want to be throwing Sludge Wave in that situation. It's much more energy efficient. Not that Brian is even a good move. It's actually... Brian is actually just a, a terrible move. Uh, Mud Slap Mirror in the lead here. Opponent's going for that goal. an instant switch. Mill Tank into this Dugong. Now, Rollout does not um, do any favors to this Dugong here. Dugong is just going to have to sit here and take super effective damage. The opponent has the Thunderbolt. A nice shield call from Tom here as he's looking to not take super effective damage before getting this Icy Wind off. Maybe at least after this, you could you could really make the case for, you know, going for um, a no shield on the Thunderbolt here. But letting this one go is I believe it's 5-4 to the Bolt. 
Uh, yeah, opponent's going to be able to get this Thunderbolt off here, but they're not really going to have a comfortable time farming down with two debuffs here on their attack stat. Icy Wind's going off here, and that actually might be an opportunity to farm down for the Don Fan. Don Fan snipes down the opponent and is not able to react quick enough, or they don't have an answer, and in comes the Golurk, and Don Fan has just gotten a mud slap through and is now going to look to go for this Trailblaze with almost back-to-back -back Trailblazes. No, we fully farm down the Golurk, and the opponent comes in with a Toxapex. This is resisted damage. Tom can go for double Trailblaze here or even a Body Slam. Either way should be fine. I think Trailblaze does do more damage per move. So it might have been better to go for the double Trailblaze there. But at this point, the opponent is not going to be able to, once again, it's just like the last game where we had the Toxapex anyway. The opponent's going to have to throw energy here in order to get rid of the Dugong. And at this point, because the opponent is be, uh, low on H or lower on HP, they should have an okay, uh, Tom should have an okay time here with his own Toxapex. So essentially, just a couple Sludge Waves here. However, I don't know... I don't know how this is going to go with the opponent's Toxapex having an entire shield on this. But yeah, Sludge Wave, not going to do a whole lot. Please, okay, there was just, there's the Sludge Wave. I was just praying in my mind that we go for the Sludge Wave. Because honestly, like, it does such a small, like, the damage that it does, truthfully, is not a lot compared to Brian, but like, it's more, it's just more efficient, right? You get more oomph out of that move. But just, Brian is just, that's just how bad Brian is. It's so, it's just so sad. It's, I mean, I know that Toxapex would be kind of oppressive with literally any other good move, but it's just, it's just, it's just enough. Now, this is where you go for the brine. This is enough. Opponent not able to get to a move over the, this is one of the most painful mirrors, but at least Poison Jab does damage. Brine's going to take out the Toxapex and take the third game here, well played. How many more Toxapexes are there? Because they seem like they're everywhere. I played some sets myself. Ooh, nasty lead with a jump puff in the lead here. Immediate switch into the Dugong. The opponent comes in with a Claude Sire. Most Go Battle League Claude Sires are probably running Stone Edge. The reason why you want to run Stone Edge, at least in the Great League, is because that rock ground coverage is almost essentially perfect coverage into almost anything that's not named Chestnut or things that are like similar to it, right? And so in that, because of that, you're going to have a generally better coverage over the overall meta. The reason why that trainers like uh, in the play Pokemon circuit are running Slud or, uh, Sludge Bomb is because when it comes to the uh, go when, when, when it comes to show six in those formats, Sludge Bomb does better into the more condensed number of picks that are more common in that format, if that makes sense. So you typically will uh, want to run Stone Edge here in this uh, in the Go Battle League uh, format just to make sure. Um, that you're, you're not going to get caught with your pants down and into something that, you know, you wish you had stone edge because that's just better coverage overall. Anyway, me stop talking about Claude Sire moves. We're going to be seeing this Icy Wind get thrown off here. Gastronon, not a super solid answer to Dugong here with these attack drops. Dugong actually turns this into a tie, and we'll see the opponent... The opponent makes a mistake, and I want to explain this to everybody so you understand why I'm saying that. When you and your opponent have a simultaneous knockout... The first person to bring in their Pokemon is now revealing what they've brought in. So now Tom can easily just bring in his Toxapex and get the perfect alignment. Whereas normally in this situation, you and your opponent will... Usually you want to wait until the very last possible second of this timer before you bring either of your Pokemon in. And at that point, it's just a call of whether or not you're going to see... But opponent... Huh? Wait, why are we coming with the Don Fan Trainer? No! Wait, huh? Okay, now I'm absolutely confused. What? Huh? Ha! What is? What did I miss? What is happening? What did I miss? Why did we bring in the Don Fan? Was this? It had to be a misclick. Don Fan gets creamed and destroyed. Boom! Oh, the poor, the poor Don Fan and his children. Oh no, Don Fan! Please come back to us. I miss you already. Opponent has an energy ball, um, and they, I guess they just quit. They must have been incredible. Maybe they have a zoom roll in the back. They are incredibly weak, but um, good, good game. Get bailed out, I guess. Good game. All right, for Alligator, this is a bit more of a tricky lead because the opponent does have the super effective Hydro Cannons, but they're not dealing super effective damage with their fast moves. They're simply going for uh, Shadow Claws here now. I see, I, I, I can see why we want to go for Body Slam because if we're going to swap out anyway, makes sense, right? You have a back line that does pretty well into, of course they have Crunch, just like me. Whenever I don't want them to have Crunch, they have it. It's, 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 it's inevitable. It's like, it's like Thanos. It's inevitable. I, I know. 
had. I've never, I never see Crunch Gator unless I swap in something like a Dugong that otherwise walls its energy. But anyway, my trials and tribulations aside, for Alligator is now off this team and the opponent uh, has now brought in their Claude Sire. This is okay here. Don Fan will do pretty well into this thing, but the thing is, is that this farm down for the Claude Sire, it's going to force Tom to shield regardless. We can't come in with Toxapex here. Don Fan's got to come in, and I think, yeah, you have to respect the fact that this could be an Earthquake and shield anyway. The opponent baiting with a cheeky little Stone Edge, and then they come in with a Superior, and Tom is able to respond with the Toxapex. Toxapex just has a dominant matchup here, as its fast moves are just ripping through the Superior, and even though Frenzy Plant does do plenty of damage, Tom has the opponent right where he wants him he's gonna be able to get no trainer don't go for the brine stop going for brine it's bad it's not even the because this is technically an incorrect time to go for brine brine is just a bad move always want to go for sludge wave here because the opponent does that if they decide not to shield then that is a really bad situation to put yourself it is basically a waste of energy right you want to be going for the guaranteed damage or the guaranteed shield Typically, you don't want to bait like that. I'm going to stop the video for a second so I can properly explain this because I want to make sure that we take this as a learning experience because not everybody's perfect, right? I make mistakes. This trainer makes a mistake. I, I, you've made a mistake. Let's just talk about it, right? The reason why you don't want to go for Brian in that situation is because the opponent is probably just saying, I've been hard countered with this superior. I'm not going to invest a shield. I'm going to try to win with my Claude Sire. So... In throwing the brine, we essentially are giving the opponent a chance to make a correct choice. Whereas if we just throw the sludge wave, neither choice for them is good. They either lose a superior or they have to give up their final shield. Basically going for brine basically just gives you a loss of that many poison jabs worth of energy. Basically, you give that to the opponent and they're just able to do what they want with it. So anyway, into the next game we go here. Now we clap a 5-0 here. Definitely a deserved 5-0. Um, even though despite a couple of the things that I've called out, um, those are definitely all win winnable games. So we get into the next game, see some frame drops. Goodness, Niantic, fix it! Fix it! By the way, if you would like to, I am still amassing footage for a frame drop and otherwise other game breaking issues video. So please consider sending in some footage with the uh, shoutcast form in the description below and in the pinned comment. If you have just some frame drops, some some lag outs, anything at all, send it to me and I want to make a video showcasing all that stuff. Dugong is going to come in here. Malamar is going to be able to get to a superpower and do a lot of damage to this Dugong. Uh, but unfortunately, um, yeah, we're going to have to give up a shield in order to stop this from happening. But the opponent's going to come in with a Licky Licky here and Dugong is going to throw the drill run. Now, just so you know, not a mistake here. The reason why, Drill Run actually does more damage than Icy Wind per move, right? So if you have a chance of doing one move or the other and you don't necessarily need the debuff, go for Drill Run because it will actually do more damage, slightly more, but it will do more. So we have the uh, Dugong coming in here. It's just going to continue to go for as many Icy Winds, Ice Shards, whatever it can. The opponent now having to go for Body Slams. I don't know if they're going to be able to get to another Body Slam. But they all... Man, why does Dugong let lose all the cap ties? It loses the Dunsparce, Gastrodon, Licky, everything. Man, I hate it. I genuinely just hate it. All right. So opponent is now coming in with their Toxapex. I don't know... I don't even remember what their their first Pokemon was, but apparently it doesn't like Don Fan. Uh, Trailblaze is going to do quite a bit here, and the opponent's going to be forced to go for this Brine. And this sets up a really unique opportunity for um, Toxapex on Tom's side to come in and just get a juicy farm down. And if the opponent isn't ready for this Toxapex energy in the back, they may not have a good time. Now, this Sludge Wave is going gonna, gonna to tickle, right? We saw how much damage this did previously. And why are there... Dude... I have been out of GBL for a few days. Why are there so many tox packs? Please make it stop. I hate this thing. Good game. Let me know in the comments what was in the lead in that game because I totally got sidetracked and forgot. <laughs> Another Shadow Jump Puff lead immediately into the Dugong and the opponent staying in a lot longer than they probably should because that's a lot of damage that they're taking just to get an energy ball off. It might mean that they don't have a solid answer in the back for this Dugong, but a Dugong, you, you, if you ever let a Dugong get that far ahead on energy, you're not going to have a good time because that thing will immediately start debuffing you or go for the drill runs. And in this case, Tom is taking a perfect opportunity here to do just this. He's going to be able to get two Icy Wind debuffs off on this Gastronon before it can even do anything about it. And even an Earth Power? 
Dugong doesn't care. Now, the only thing that I would have done differently here is throw this uh, ice, Icy Wind as soon as the Gastrodon came in, just because that way we're limiting the amount of HP or uh, damage that is incoming, right? So they just basically get a few extra hit points in for free. Um, unfortunately for the dugong here and we are going to get stuck in a cap tie going to go for an undercharge here maybe a farm don't know but that's okay because the jump love is essentially now going to be stuck up again oh no dude the dugong <laughs> not the dugong so okay another reason why we don't want to go icy wind here if the opponent can freely swap out and clear this debuff it's probably better for us not to go for the Icy Wind. Now, the opponent's basically going to be forced to stay in here. Toxapex has to put the whole team on its back right now and just... So, this is correct, though. You have to come in with the Don Fan against the Dugong because you need to keep the Toxapex ready to deal with this Jumpluff. Now, Jumpluff getting Energy Ball off does hurt, but I could definitely... Oh, it's going to get to another one, isn't it? Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. You gotta hope that Don Fan can make something happen here. Now, with any luck, I think that it's possible that the Dugong ends up having to shield twice here. Going for the Brian. This is a risky, risky bait, but I understand why he's doing it. Because if the opponent shields, they don't shield! That don't throw the Brian, man! If the opponent knows that they can also live the move, they may not shield it at all, and that is what happened there. The opponent knowing that they could live that move they decided not to shield. Now, this is all going to come down to Don Fan. Is Don Fan going to be able to clutch up and win this game? Go, buddy. Go. Get in the shield. This is it. Are these mud slaps going to do enough? Because, dude, these mud slaps are ripping through this dugong. The, basically, we're offsetting the debuff here. But is the, no, the mud slaps enough? Go get the dugong out of here. Good game. Well played. That was close, dude. <laughs> now, imagine if we had just gone for the sludge wave. Ah! All right, Cloud Siren lead the next game. Incredible lead. The opponent safe swapping into Dunsparce, basically saying, I don't know if I have a hard answer in the back of this, but if Don, uh, but if Cloud Sire and Dunsparce are my options, we're going to go in with its Don Fan and watch Don Fan have a great time. We have Dugong for the Cloud Sire and the opponent shielding up the Trailblaze. And now we're caught in a cap tie. The opponent is not winning this cap tie. This is a boosted body slam here. And this is going to get the second shield. Don't swap it. Don't swap. Don't, just don't. We just stay here. We shield again. The opponent has decided. Actually, we don't need to shield that. I, th I genuinely thought that would do more. Now, I would have liked to see a swap into the Toxapex here to preserve the Dawn fan. However, Toxapex is looking good. Dugong can definitely put in some work in this end game. But a quicker swap into Toxapex, we could have preserved the Dawn Fan to later deal with either the Dunsparce or the Claude Sire because of the HP that it would have had left. It would have been very good. Now, we're going to go for the Sludge Wave here because the opponent has no shields remaining. We lose the kit charge attack priority tie. Seems to be one of the only ones that Dugong can apparently win. But the Sludge Wave is going to do a lot of damage. And Tom is in a good spot here with this... Um, with this, with this uh, Dugong in the back having full HP. Opponent going to come in to the Dunsparce here. And if Dugong, as long as it doesn't sit and uh, hit the cap tie that it doesn't want to lose here, the opponent might be in a good spot if they have Stone Edge on the Claude Sire, which I didn't really think about. Uh, but yeah, preserving the Don fan here definitely would have been much, much more beneficial to us in this case because it still would have been around to deal with the rest of the Claude Sire. Because honestly, like those poison stings, they may be buffed, but they aren't doing a whole lot when it comes to um dealing with a with a ground type they just they just they just shrug it off nobody you know they don't care whatever so this is risky now the opponent's gonna go for a move do we catch no the opponent tries to make a catch here and gives dugong all the energy in the world and now we're gonna see the tox effects come in and finish this farm down we gotta get to the brine if the opponent goes for this before the opponent or the Toxapex is able to get to the Brian before the opponent throws a move. That's going to be a big... Ew! Opponent tries to go for the cheeky little sludge bomb, but that's a Claude Sire and no Toxapex. That's not enough. And the Toxapex gets the KO with the double resisted poison jab. Good game. Nice, co nice, nice, nice comeback as well. All right, Gujar on the lead. This is not great for the Dawn fans, pr primarily because it's a very frail Pokemon that does not appreciate dealing with fast move pressure. Now, opponent comes in with an Azumarill. Unfortunate, because that also means that Toxapex here is not going to be able to deal with the uh, the, the uh, Azumarill. Now, I am always confused. I, I, like, I know that Icy Wind is not the wrong thing to do here, 
but I've never understood really when to go for the Icy Wind and when to go for the Drill Run with this Azumarill matchup. So this makes sense, right? Icy Winding the heck out of this Azumarill. It's barely doing anything. All the moves are resisted. We're going to see an instant switch into the Toxapex here, and we're going to have to see what the opponent decides to do in response. They're going to come back in with this Gudra. Gudra is behind on energy by quite a bit here, and Toxapex can land a Sludge Wave for free. The opponent also decides to shield this here, but this also opens up an opportunity now for Don Fan with shield advantage. Maybe it lands a Trailblaze against the Azumarill later. This could be a really good opportunity for it. Thunder Punch does do some damage here, but it's not going to do quite enough. Toxapex is going to be able to hang on to another one and get the Sludge Wave off as the opponent really willing to throw another shield up in order to deal with the Pex. No, we switch! Throw the Sludge Wave Trainer! No! Okay, but in comes the Dugong here, and now we're forced to shield. We either either just commit. The Switch Clock wasn't up. If the, if the Switch Clock isn't fully visible, and I, I get wanting to save it for the Zoom roll. Makes sense. I think that's what, was, what we were trying to accomplish here. But unfortunately, um, not going to be able to save that energy as the opponent did get the fast move down there. And uh, there it goes. So uh, Play Rough is going to get um, very... The Don Fan... The, the Dugong, rather, is very low. You'll have to forgive me. I've been on the road for 12-some hours today. I'm exhausted, but I wanted to make sure we get a video out for Monday. And it comes... No! <laughs> oh, that's a Talon Flame. This is a problem. Talon Flame is going to do a lot of damage against Incinerates are now ripping through this Don Fan. We're going to go through the Body Slam. This is, this is not even going to come close to knocking out. But is there a chance that perhaps we get a catch, or maybe that there's two? No, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, there's no shields available here. The opponent, I believe, has two moves ready to go. And even though the Dugong has it, they're not able to get it because of the one turn lag. But I don't think that we're going to win that one anyway. So good game. One turn lag. Niantic, you gotta fix it. This game has absolutely no credibility. All right, we come in with the Toxapex much quicker. So here's the reason why we don't stay in to throw this Trailblaze. Toxapex can fully farm this down. And now I'm incredibly confused. Why We always come in with Toxapex to guarantee it has a good matchup. And then we fully farm down and you have energy. The opponent gives him the game. Top left, maybe they don't want to deal with it. I don't know. But absolutely coming with the Tox Specs every time there. Tom's making a good run. This is 2300 ELO games. These are not like, you know, these are, re these, these are competitive games. I can tell. The teams are competitive. The players are competitive. Tom's competitive. It's all good. Unfortunately, um, there, were a few, there were a few things, but, you know, we use these as learning experiences. I don't want to, you know, dog on anybody because everybody's trying to learn, myself included. I don't know everything, and I'm always learning things myself. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I tried to have a little bit more of a learn, you know, a bit of, a bit of, you know, a bit of some learn by example, but also, you know, try to wake myself up a little bit after that car ride that I had to deal with. But, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. We're going to catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.